The Cameron County Sheriff's Office continues investigating yesterday's report of an active shooter at the Harlingen Annex. CBS 4's Marco Ramirez spoke with Cameron County Sheriff Eric Garza and brings us more on the protocols for an active shooter response. Marco. Well, Chris, the active shooter call in Harlingen ended up being a false alarm, but Cameron County Sheriff Eric Garza tells me his department is still taking calls like this very seriously and is in constant preparation. It's like a seesaw. We, we hear it for a certain amount of time and then it doesn't happen again. And then, of course, it happened. Of course, now the community is in alerts. As a result of Monday's call of an active shooter at the Harlingen Annex, Cameron County Sheriff Eric Garza says law enforcement has always been on high alert. Yesterday's response to the annex was a good example of how the department is prepared should there ever be an active shooter. I think the response time was, was very well done by our, by our deputies, by Harlan GPD and the constables. Every agency worked very well with each other. There's always room for improvement as far as making sure that our deputies, when they get there, have the information they need to be better serve the community. Along with training with local police departments across the county, Garza says both the SWAT teams and sheriff's deputies are trained every month to ensure the best response. Uh, depending who arrives on the scene first, that's how our train is, is developed. So first and foremost, we train our deputies if they're the first on the scene. Of course, we continue training with our, with our SWAT. But preparing for an active shooter also involves some help from the community. Just be vigilant. If they see that there's some type of danger for the community or themselves to call 911. If they're driving around, they see something, stop the car, call 911. Give the dispatcher as much information as possible, but make sure they don't put themselves in danger. And Sheriff Garza will also be part of a town hall meeting hosted by Brownsville ISD. This meeting aims to improve on school safety. We'll have more of the details available for you on, on, online at valleycentral.com. Working for you in the newsroom tonight, I'm Mark Ramirez.